Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke. If you're new here, welcome. I live in New York. I do vlogs here. I am so excited. We're starting off the evening right. Well, I filmed a video today, um, so I haven't started the vlog, but I just got some exciting stuff in the mail. I did a TikTok about it already, so it's funny on TikTok already. No, we got the Bonza Pizza. Not sponsored, they just sent me these. Um, I'm excited to try. These are pizzas made from chickpeas and honestly, I needed dinner anyway, so I was like, you know, let's eat, shall we? I'm gonna have the margarita pizza. This is the one that I'm gonna have because it's like moths and stuff. Yum. Yeah, it's just basils, no nuts. And the crust is made from chickpeas. What have I been up to today? Oh, I did a bunch of podcast stuff, went on people's podcasts, filmed that video. Also just did some laundry. I have all of my laundry drying over here. Did some phone calls. Oh, I got a question on a recent video um, if I am doing Vlogmas, and I am. So I'm really excited for that. I was actually just like planning brand stuff and we're at that point now, like it's basically November. So I'm planning like all my sponsorships and stuff like that and planning them into December which is just so weird to think about like how is it already almost oh my gosh because it's basically november already so let's see what the deal is with this how what do we have to heat it to preheat to 400 and remove all packaging 11 to 13 minutes tonight bachelor is on and i have been live tweeting posting about the bachelor so i will continue to do that today and that my friends is what i'm doing right now I had to make room in my freezer for the pizza, so I <laughs> took out this Tito's bottle and you guys were just sitting on it. It's a little triggering just looking at um, straight up alcohol, but you know, <laughs> do it for you guys. Let's make this pizza. For a size reference, I don't know how big this is, but it's not huge. It's like personal pizza size in my opinion, but I also eat a lot of food, so maybe I'm not the person to judge on that. I feel like my appetite, like I see what people, when people do these like what I eat in a day is and stuff like that. And I'm not judging by any means because I know everybody's like bodies different like listen to your body of course but i eat a lot of food i think that's the conclusion i'm coming to Ooh, looks good i'm gonna let it cool and then we could eat it you guys this is fire as expected it doesn't even really like if you didn't tell me that it was a chickpea crust i wouldn't know it's crunchy the right amount of crunch i did it for 12 minutes and the cheese and all the toppings on this one are really good too good morning everybody i uh stopped vlogging whoa why did this just get crazy bright I'm still trying to figure out this mirror. It's the simple human mirror and it uh, it does all these things and it's pretty crazy, but it's like all automatic. You can't put any settings on it. So it just kind of does things and I just go with it. Today is going to be a fun day. First up, I'm going to walk over to the West Village, meet Audrey for some coffee. My friend Audrey Peters. We're going to get some coffee. I think I have to like film. I'm going to film like a little clip for one of her TikToks or something too. I just haven't seen her in a while. I love the West Village. Like I thought it'd be fun to head over there this morning. The shirt is from Princess Polly, by the way. It's pretty cute. And then I'm just wearing some jeans. I'm just putting on moisturizer too. I'm going to do like light makeup now and probably amp it up later. Oh, I have some podcast recordings later. I'm recording Kenzie's book club finally because we finished the book. Going on another podcast Um, and I'm waiting for a brand to approve a video that should have gone up yesterday so hopefully i can post that and reply to the comments and stuff yesterday was bachelor it was uh i'm kind of over the season already i'm waiting for tasia to come in and change the show up because it's just not i don't know i really do like claire but just the route that the season's going it's just really really boring already and it's only episode two so that's not good obviously we don't like that they gave her some good guys i at first i was like what is this cast and then they showed more of them yesterday and i was like oh wait there's some great guys here and they're a little bit older a little more mature which is good they're like in their 30s which i feel like she needs someone in their 30s concealers this is like my Sephora collection acne concealer and I definitely have some acne right now. Skin goes through highs and lows, you know. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna get ready and I will update you guys when we're about to go. All right, this is the look. I'll show you guys in the mirror. Um, I curled my hair from yesterday. The lighter pieces are definitely, if you guys saw a few vlogs ago, I think like two vlogs ago probably, I got my hair done and you can see that there's some lighter pieces and some of them are significantly lighter, but um, I can go in and get them toned like a darker tone maybe for like when it gets really really cold outside But I think when I curl it it looks pretty decent. It's not streaky because my hairdresser Rachel is amazing So that's why I like it. I don't really know what to wear um, It's like 60 70 but like muggy outside. I'm like, uh, what do I wear? So I'm wearing just a gray t-shirt from Topshop 
I don't know if I should tuck it in all around. And these jeans are Princess Polly. A lot of you guys really like them because they are like the asymmetrical, but they're like looser in the leg. So they're really, really comfy. And then my Air Force One's just comfy because I'm gonna walk 30 minutes there. So let's go. We have all my laundry drying, delicates and stuff like that that I've been procrastinating on. She is. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> all right, I'm recording the book club with Kenzie in 10 minutes or so, so I have all of my podcast equipment, and I just made another Bonza pizza. I realized that it is almost 2.15, and I just didn't eat today. I got that coffee, but I just didn't eat. This is what happens when you don't have groceries, so that's why I have to get better about that. I'm moving everything around. Computer is where we're gonna be Zooming. I have notes written down here, the book here. I never do like book clubs. I thought this was so fun. So thanks Kenzie for the invite. I'm gonna quickly literally inhale this pizza before we record. <laughs> we just recorded. Um, that was so fun. Got thanks it. so much for having me Kenzie. I'll try to link it below. When is, when, oh Bonza pizza that I just ate mine too. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't do that intentionally. When um is this going up? It'll be up on Monday. Oh okay so it's definitely up by now so I'll link it below guys. Check it out. All right I put on makeup because I had to film like this video clip thing long story but I just found out that I might be being in this, it's like still not even confirmed, like I didn't even sign a contract yet, but it's just motivation enough. I might be in like this photo shoot thing on Monday with this brand, and that is motivation enough for me to go work out. However, don't wanna do the bike. You guys probably didn't even know. I barely know. I have a gym in my building. It's not the biggest, but hopefully no one's down there cause I do have to wear a mask, but I believe it's open, I'm just like limited capacity. Hopefully no one's in there. I just really wanna walk on the treadmill. Like I just don't feel like doing this, so. That's why I'm like, <sighs> but if it's crowded, then I'll, I'll come up and do my bike. Just sometimes I'm not in the mood for it. You guys probably get that. Also, all of my workout clothes are drying, so I'm just wearing this like random fit. My new Ultra Boost though, so I'm so out of shape too. This is about to be really rough. I was actually gonna talk about body image stuff in this vlog because that's something that I've definitely been dealing with lately. I definitely put on some weight in the later half of quarantine. Um, I haven't even really been getting so much as comments about it, but I just noticed it on myself. I know how to like pose and like how to do things so that it doesn't really necessarily show, but like I see it on myself and I see probably the 10 ish pounds that like I put on in the most recent month or two. Even though I'm walking all the time in New York, like today I walked probably two miles already, but not enough. No, I'm kidding. I'm like eating whatever I want to eat. So that's the problem. And it's very normal for weight to fluctuate. I actually don't own a scale, so I don't even know specifically like what weight is fluctuating, but I'd see it on myself if that makes sense. But I just want to learn to have a better relationship with food because right now I've been really bad about using food as a system to kind of like reward myself. Like, oh, I just had a really long, hard day. I did like a lot of stuff. I'm gonna like order Uber Eats and like ball out and like get like such a large quantity of food or like really unhealthy food. And I need to stop using food as like a reward system, if that makes sense. I've just been feeling down on my body recently and it sucks. So if any of you guys have been feeling that way and you relate, it goes in waves, you know what I mean? I think that's natural too. Like sometimes, or even some days I'll wake up and be like, gosh, I'm beautiful. And then other days it's really hard and that's normal. Not that I want to like normalize that because, but I know a lot of females and males struggle with this. So I actually did a whole episode on Gals to Go about body image and like my tips for confidence and stuff. So if you guys want to check that out, that was one of my favorite episodes I've ever done. Started my morning by lighting this candle. It's by Boy Smells and it says L-E-S. I read online that it's you can pronounce it lace or L-E-S, but I'm gonna say L-E-S because that's where I live in New York and I thought it was cool and it smells really good. Good morning, everybody. Start off my morning, I walk to Dunkin'. I'm getting my Nespresso tomorrow. My parents come tomorrow, so right now I'm just drinking a cold brew with almond milk. And yeah, just getting my morning started basically yesterday. I worked out, ate some salad for dinner, and then um, tomorrow my parents come. So today's really just a work day, computer day planning for uh danielle and i have a guest on the podcast this week so i have to do some planning and prep for that so i want to make sure it's a really good episode i don't know what is going on with my skin right here probably gonna put on an acne sticker so let's do that right now what i'm doing to prep is i go in and i research our guest so i also have my acne stickers on um like i said i'm taking those photos on monday so i'm trying to get my skin under control so what i do to prep is i go in and i research our guests so i go on like all their forms of social media linkedin literally everything that i can find and i think about the questions that i want to ask in perspective of like what i would be curious to hear if i was listening to this person on a podcast i think that that's a really good strategy i mean i listen to a lot of podcasts and 
sometimes when I listen to podcasts and it's a guest that I even like but I don't like the questions that the host is asking I think about like how I would rephrase the questions or how I would pivot the conversation to information that I would want to hear from that person I just go into the notes app on my computer though and start typing out the questions but I also allow it for it like to be a conversation I don't want it to just be like structured questions but it's more so like bulleted talking points if that makes sense but yeah I'm just gonna sit here do this and on the TV just as background noise I'm watching my friend Bianca Franco's vlog she just moved and it's like an hour moving vlog so phenomenal content I love that life of Charlotte youtubers their apartments are sick Refilling my water because we're gonna take a shot. Amount of alcohol. Ginger shot. A lot of you guys said in my comments that this does help with like your immune system and stuff. I just take them every now and again. I keep them in my fridge. Let's see. Here we go. <sighs> Oof. That was hard. I still haven't ate today. It's like around noon. 12:30, and I'm making my third day of Bonza pizza. I don't. It's just what I have in my fridge right now. I'm watching Gilmore Girls in the background of doing my work, and yeah, I just didn't go grocery shopping because my parents come. I just realized there's light switches on here. I realized earlier this week that my parents are coming on Friday, so I didn't go grocery shopping. I also have to go home to vote this weekend. So, and then, but then I'm coming back Monday. I'm gonna be here for a while. So, actually, I think I might have Hello Fresh coming. Who knows? I need to look at my calendar. Four cheese, and I have to do some emails. So I have been trying this new tea. It is from this brand, Vadam Teas. I don't know, but I've been drinking tea for the past few days just because I don't have coffee, so I'll show you guys the setup. I should say, I don't have a coffee machine, but my parents are bringing my Nespresso, I believe, tomorrow. I have to confirm that they're gonna bring it. Uh, but I have this kettle that I got on Amazon. Also, how do you clean stainless steel? I think I need to get like a cleaner for that. Anyways, this was like 20 or 30 bucks, and it looks so sleek out on my counter, so I might end up leaving it out. But um, it also like, has me drinking more tea. So these are the teas that I got. They were sent to me by Vadam Teas. Um, this one's like a turmeric. This one's turmeric ginger. And they're really like premium teas. So I just have those out there like inspiring me. Feeling healthy. My probiotics and my vitamin C that I take. No health expert here, but this is where the workstation is today. Then I'm going home to Long Island again because my parents are coming here tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna vote on Saturday and just come back to the city on Sunday. So just a really quick trip home. Really primarily just to vote and because my parents are coming here so I get to ride back in the car with them. So I only have to take the train once. Not that it matters, but it's just easy. Like if they're zipping in, I'll zip home with them. I'm starting to get together some outfits. These are Rent the Run- so my pills my head. These are Rent the Runway sweaters, Aritzia, and my Levi's. I also want to start wearing my Spanx leggings again. I only need a few outfits really, but I already have my suitcase and stuff in here so I can get that done tonight because tomorrow they're gonna come um, and we're gonna do a lot of stuff around here. So I just want to make sure that the place is clean and everything. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's how you know I haven't like looked in the mirror in a while or I guess in my reflection. Oh my gosh, why are my eyes so red? But I also need to work out a little bit. I think I'm gonna spin. Just got an exciting package from Mush. I swear this whole vlog is just food. I think that's the consistent theme here. They messaged me and were like, hey, do you want some restocks on some of your faves? And I was like, uh, yes, please. I love them so much. So they are overnight oats. And my two favorite flavors that I got restocks of are the vanilla bean and the dark chocolate. And then I also got to try, because I've never tried. Oh yeah, it says FOMO limited release. Um, this is the pumpkin, so very excited. I am going to throw these all in my fridge. Thank you so much to Mush. You could buy them, I think, at grocery stores and stuff like that, or they could ship them to you. So really, really cool. And they have like a little spoon included. And it's just nice having them like prepackaged and stuff. Also, while we're here, another random Amazon haul things that I got. I got those funky sunglasses a few vlogs back and a lot of you guys were like you can pull them off. Um, I just didn't want to pay the price for those because I was renting them and if I were to buy them they would be like I think like $60. So I decided to get this two pack from Amazon. Those are in $12 of those like thin sunglasses. They might look dumb on me but uh, they're fun, kind of fun. I thought like for pictures and stuff like that. So these are like a tortoise. These are just your typical black. Yeah. Oh, super cool. I really like them considering that they were $12 and the quality actually feels really nice on these. So I will link these below and on my Amazon shop. Wow, what a find. I got a hair clip in a few vlogs ago and it already broke. I used it like literally twice. I decided to get some cheaper hair clips. They also threw in a little bracelet. Oh, I think it's a hair tie. That's pretty cool. But I got these tortoise clips that I thought would be effective for um, getting my hair in my face. Oh, they're also like, softer on your hair it feels like. I can also link these below 
but I thought that they were pretty and these were around 11 or $12 each too. So altogether, not too, too much. And Amazon is really good like little accessories. I know a lot of you guys get your jewelry on Amazon and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Procrastinating, working out. I'm going to just a little bit longer than I will. This is Finn, Mike Press. Um, he's really good if you guys have the full bike. I'm trying to use the bike as much as possible, but just like anything, I get sick of it. So I have to not do it too, too much. Otherwise I get burnt out of it. it takes up a decent amount of room here, but um, I think it's worth it for now at least until I feel like safer going to workout classes I haven't been to any workout classes like in person since the pandemic And I know they're doing like outdoor spin and like stuff in the park like whatever yoga. I don't even know um, And it's allowed like you're allowed to go to gyms here, but I have this and I have the gym downstairs So I'm like I'm good. I know I always show my windows you guys But I'm starting to pack and I just noticed like all of the trees are changing I don't know why it's such a weird color, but I just like looked outside. It's so nice being able to see trees That's one thing that Oh, I showered and everything too after I worked out. That's one thing that I'm really really happy about in this place is that My view of the city like it does include some greenery and stuff, which I know is such a luxury So I'm obsessed. It just makes it feel more homey Like that's why I kind of like the villagey vibes in New York like East Village West Village even Lower East Side Whatever I like these sort of feels more because I feel like there's not really like crazy skyscrapers like it's New York but it's not like this crazy overwhelming New York like Midtown can kind of feel to me sometimes it's like true New York like if you want that feel um but I just could never live in like a skyscraper or anything like that I honestly just it kind of freaks me out being like so crazily up like up so high I didn't even think I had like a fear of heights or anything but it's definitely something to consider because I feel like everyone shows like these crazy glamorous like super tall skyscraper New York buildings and if you're scared of heights or if it's storming in the middle of the night your building literally like rattles around this is a real thing I've never like slept through the night um I guess maybe like I've stayed in a hotel or something but even those you go to like the 25th floor or something I don't, I don't like it I don't like it not for me at least <laughs> and this is the packing situation um i think i'm gonna end the vlog for tonight because i'm pretty much just gonna watch big brother and chill and i will update you guys tomorrow when my parents are here and show you the progress of everything so see you then good morning everybody i tried to crimp my hair but it is looking a little weird this morning my parents are about to be here it is very early they left the house super early it's 8 10 i woke up at like 7 to kind of clean and stuff because you know the rents are coming i have everything that i'm packing my dad is finally painting the wall today so we'll do a little before and after action i have some stuff i'm bringing home pr that i've been sent that we are going to donate and whatnot i really just spent the morning like organizing and cleaning up a little bit so that it's in tip-top shape for when they get here i also i do this every few like seasons or whatever i ordered some new lids for my hydro flask and i got these white ones i think i linked them on my amazon it looks really good with the color of my bottle i think i'm just having some tea this one i don't even think i told you guys i think i said i was like maybe gonna do a photo shoot next week it was postponed but i'm kind of really thankful about it because that was really last minute and i prefer to plan a little more advanced than that so we have more time. I am definitely motivated to kick back the fitness journey again after these few days of trying to um, get back into working out and stuff like that. I feel sore, but it feels good. You know when you're like, it's a good sore, it's not like a, I've done those workouts where the next day I'm so sore that it's like hard to walk. I'm like, my legs are sore and like my a little bit of like my arms, I guess, back maybe, whatever. But it's like, I can still move. I, it's a comfortable soreness. So I don't work here. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Here she is. My bet this morning was if my mom's wearing jeans and she's not, thank gosh. But I think those are mine. They are. You gave oh. too many. Okay. Yeah, so they're cute though. Your leftovers. I love the color. Yeah, they're very cool. And look how great it looks with my sweatshirt when I put this on. That's cool vibe, right? Yeah, definitely. That feels like a fever dream, however long ago we did those. And then in here we have my dad working away. Um, you already started. It looks phenomenal already. The color is so fun. We've been wanting to do this for a while. I just want to say. I do appreciate my parents so much. People are like, oh, she just calls her parents and has them like do all this whatever. Like we've been talking about this for a very long time. My dad's um, literally a painter, so that's why he is painting, yes. hence not us <laughs> or me. But let's take a look. Stop, say hello to the camera. Hello. 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 Wow, it's very loud outside. Yeah, it is <laughs> One coat on. Can't even really tell the full color, but when you're out like here in the living room and then you see the back, it's kind of fun and the finished product my dad is incredible you guys he didn't even use painters tape he's like a pro and the edges are amazing he's been doing painting for like 20 years so that's why he uh painted this and it 
was so quick he put two coats on and he was like it's already dry like you're fine to so we put everything back into place he also helped me do a few other things which i'll show you quickly the desk he's helping me with the drawer situation but oh my gosh i love the contrast of the pink and the whatever it's very youthful and bright but i thought that in the background of videos and stuff it would just be phenomenal like that's fun you know it's not just all white it's like we got a little pink in there it's just different um and i do really like it and then when I have my neon sign on, it's just like gonna be like a fun pink vibe in here. I'm kind of here for it. And out here in the main room, I'm gonna do an apartment tour very, very soon because I'm getting nearly finished. Um, but over here, we just hung up this planter. I know. I know, right? My mom was downstairs working. I'm gonna do like live plants. Yeah. Well, I think I should. Yeah, I feel like, like in you, those. You can get an idea of how it will look. Obviously, this is fake. And it doesn't. And it's too it's small, not, but look yeah. what it's like. No, that's real. Oh, it is? Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, and why city succulents? It's like a Rock. yeah. The succulents are easy to take care of. It's the plants that are hard. But here we are, home, home. My hair is absolutely crazy today. I got some PR packages. First up, we have a lot of Lacroix, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to transport this home. Some people have my address, like home, home, and some people have my apartment address. So I guess it just depends. But this is exciting. And then I got some stuff from Too Faced. I didn't know that they came out with actual false lashes. So their thing is like their like mascara is better than sex, but it's like better than you know false lashes. But then they came out with false lashes, so these are really pretty. Um, if only I had an occasion to wear them, but I thought they were very pretty. And then um, I've actually never tried their eyeliner, so I'm excited for that. Thanks, Too Faced, and the makeup bag is so, so cute. On our way back in, we swung by Costco, and I just got some stuff for myself. I love Costco. Um, so I got some more socks. For some reason, I always need socks. I got some vitamin C gummies. I have vitamin C pills, but I'm running low, and I, I like the gummies. And then they had Smart Sweets, so I got some Smart Sweets. I actually met... Um, a subscriber a listener to the podcast and she was like the smart suites over there made me think of you and then I saw you So she reminded me that they were there. So she was so so sweet. Her name was blossom That was really really fun meeting her I was just doing some work on my computer once I got home I was filling out like the posting instructions basically well Like I, I have sponsored videos going up So I have to go through and like make sure that everything's linked properly and like all set up correctly And I just want to say thank you guys because I know it, I, I just had like a string of like several several sponsored videos And I'm really trying not to let that happen again uh, But sometimes they pile up so I really Really, really apologize for that i'm going to try my best moving forward into the holiday season to not allow that to happen again like at least consecutively in a row like try to split it up or try to make sure that there's bonus videos for you guys if that happens so i don't want to make promises but i just want to say thank you guys for understanding you guys are always the best with that sort of thing and i really 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 appreciate it at the end of the day that is how i make this my job so it is very appreciated. I am so tired though. I think I told you guys my parents came quite early and I fell asleep really, really late. Like I barely slept. I went to bed like one, woke up at seven. Just not enough sleep. I mean, I guess it's like not barely sleeping, but I need more than that. So I'm gonna chill here. I think my dad is going to make dinner in a little bit. It's nice being home for reasons like that, selfishly. Oh, it feels so good to sit down on my bed. Oh! Just stay home and watch the house. Bye, cook. We'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just wanted to end off the vlog here. We are currently, my mom, dad, and I are on the way to vote early. It is the first day of early voting in New York. And this is primarily the reason why I came home. I just love spending time with them. <laughs> nice sweatshirt, mom. Thanks. She wears one every day. She wears a different color. I just go throughout the week. I have every color of the tie-dye. Yeah, here we go. Alright, we're going to Best Buy now because the voting line was too long, so we're gonna go back on Monday. We are still voting early. That, that was, was the line was crazy. three or four hours long according to someone so we were like uh we're free on monday let's yeah, go but on you monday you and you couldn't even find a parking spot because it's located right near a highway where are you parking true true it was you very dangerous people there. were on, yeah it was actually really dangerous yeah. so here we are at best buy because my mom needs a cord for her computer that i'm helping her with so we'll ask She's them helping me with my office guys hopefully this is the right thing we are here in best buy best buy is honestly awesome we're just playing around with this guy <laughs> thank you so much to at shop angel apparel who sent me some of her stuff. She has a store. I've gotten some stuff from her before. Um, and she sent me this little tank top, this cute sweatshirt. It's like the Nike, but it says Dior. And then this really soft sweatshirt. So she, it's like a boutique online. So definitely go check out her stuff. It's Saturday. So I was just replying to some of the video comments and stuff like that. That's what I was up to. What a random few days this has been. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, what did I even show? I'm like trying to think about it. I kind of want to do some reading and just like overall chilling today because it is a beautiful saturday outside it's like nice it's like 60 something degrees so i think that's what we're gonna do this vlog has just been a big flop i'm sorry guys i'm gonna get more consistent about picking up the camera on consistent days and stuff it's just been like 
I don't even know, all over the place. Today, um, it's Sunday now. I'm up at 8.30 and I'm going to go get a coffee and then we're recording the podcast. So I just wanna warm up the vocal cords, you know, get going this morning. I'm going back to the city, I think on Tuesday, not tomorrow, but I will start a week in my life tomorrow. So if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. It really, um, well, if you thumbs up and comment, really supports my channel. I am going to be showing like more clips of my room and the apartment. I think I'm gonna film an apartment tour soon because I know I kind of like glazed over that part of the video. I feel like that was like a focus of it. So I don't know why I did that. More coming soon. Lots more coming soon. Love you guys. Bye.